Saturday, July 22nd, and we are going to go see Girls Trip, which is a movie with Queen Latifah and Jada Pinkett. So, I'm excited. And the two other girls that we just don't know their names. Yeah, I forgot their names. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, what's that girl name? She always plans somebody's wife. I feel bad because I don't know her name now, but I, after the movie, I, Regina Hall. Oh, yeah, Regina Hall. Regina Hall's in it. Right, right, That's right. In Regina Boo. I was like, um, can you go, please? Sorry, I got real rage. <laughs> Bay has a little bit of rage. But anyways, so, um, another thing I wanted to say was everybody's talking about, well, I was at work the other day, and one of my other managers was like, have you seen the movie Kidnapped with Holly Berry? Mind you, that movie has not come out yet it has in not. theaters. August 4th. It doesn't come out to August, but if you had the fire stick, you can see it now. And we were talking about that, and, her, and his cousin who works with us was like, that movie hasn't even came out yet. And he was like, it hasn't? I was like, no. It doesn't come out until like August 4th. So, yeah. That was just something crazy. So I was like, normally movies that haven't came out yet wouldn't be like on the fire stick and stuff like that but seeing as how the fire stick is basically like uh, a bootleg version of movies kind of sort of until they come out and then they come with the real versions yeah so, but you know that was just a fun fact um just saying kidnap but kidnapped is a was, good movie though was a decent decent movie should you see it in theaters? Mm, yes or no? <laughs> That's I mean, my opinion. Yes or no? If, right. if you are a Holly Berry fan, you're going to enjoy it. Obviously, yes. But, but however, I don't want to give a lot away, but, yeah. you know, it was a lot of scenes that was just, like, draining. Like, okay, why is this in this? Right. But, I mean, you got to see the movie to understand why I said that. But, but hey... <sighs> This is mean, what you would do if your child was kidnapped. So I'm just saying. Right. True. And you actually saw them being kidnapped. Right. A lot of people will go through those links to get <laughs> to save their child. So you know. But yeah, it was. I mean, it's it a Holly Berry I'm action glad, film. I'm glad it was on the fire stick. <laughs> right. So I didn't. You know, that's a movie checked off our list because I didn't want to see it. So yeah. that that was up there. I was like, oh, let me see if I can play it. And sure enough. And it's clear. It's not bootleg. It's not, you know, somebody walks, somebody's head in the screen, you know? <laughs> so, I say, you know, thumbs up to a fire stick. So, bootleg movies has definitely revolved around in time. Because I remember when you buy bootleg movies, you always got somebody laughing in the background too loud. Right. Somebody moving to go get popcorn or go get something to drink. Right. And, like, now that, like, you can actually... People have learned how to edit all of that out right. to where it's a clear movie. Bootleg movies have evolved right. over the years. Like, over the years. Yeah. But we are rambling right now. That's so hot. It was real hot today. It is. It's always hot. Supposedly, the car says it's 97 degrees. It's 102 to me, yeah. Your hair's on. I don't even feel it. That's the sad part. I'm glad that I don't have to work today. So, girl, it's a good thing. We just not gonna go down that right. That's a whole nother. Yeah, it's a whole nother video. A whole nother story. Girl. Yeah, do that, do that. But um, yeah, we are going headed to the movie now. Our movie starts at 1:30, so we're probably um just go ahead and get our and it's a side scene, so. Yeah. This is the second time we've seen a Sunset movie because, yeah. The first time, the first time we seen it was a Chris Brown movie. Yeah. That was supposedly only one day only, but then he decided to show it again, I think. So, it's out somewhere. Somebody's movie theater. But, we're going to go to the movie theater now, get our seats, get some food. Bay loves to watch previews, so we're going to watch previews and movies. I love previews. I don't know, girl. Yeah. Previews are the bomb. I don't know why. It's just what is this car doing? He in two lanes. Can you um? People can't drive, or anything. Um, previews are just great. Um, you know, you get to see what's coming up next, and if 
you haven't seen the preview, then you know. Oh, have any comment below if you have been on Facebook and you seen Taraji P Henson's new movie trailer for Proud Mary. Comment below what you think. I saw it and I'm like, oh, it's an action film, like an action action film. And I don't know how to feel about her being in an action film. I'm not, you know, like, she's not really in a lot of action films where she's doing the action stuff. So, I think this may, that may be just a bomb movie just because it's something new for her. But. I mean, I think it was, yeah. the preview was, I mean, it was a short preview. But yeah, the trailer was short. It was not long. But, I think. I think it's gonna be a, a good movie. I don't. I really can't say, but from what I saw, you know, I love movies. I love action movies. So yeah. what I saw, yeah. it looked like it was a good movie. But hopefully, they'll have a longer trailer so we can actually see the actual like <laughs> see more of it, bit so of we it. can really like. I just hope it's not the movie. I hope it's not like the movie Get Out where the preview was pretty the trailer was pretty much the movie except for a certain scenes yeah because that was kind of like a boo for that but again we saw that on fire stick anyways the minute you see it so get out i wasn't too I just, mad about that i just i mean i read the synopsis so the fact that people kept talking before i walked read it people kept talking oh it's great it's good it's good then i read the synopsis to understand what the movie was about and I'm like okay and then we saw the movie and I'm like I really didn't like it out like that I thought it was like a movie and every everything happened so quick it wasn't like a drawn out a drawn out situation or thing you know everything was just like quick and I'm just like this movie's so freaking quick like nothing really leads into each scene it's just like next scene next scene next scene this happened and this happened this is like nothing and to me nothing some of the scenes didn't even connect to right. each other like it was just like and then the next day this happened and the next day and then this happened and then like i'm just like so i didn't really get like out this way i man. got it i understood it i just didn't like it like Get Out was one of the movies that <laughs> felt like it was rushed. Yeah, it was a rush. And it was one of those movies where you felt like, well, dang, y'all could have took, like, a little bit longer to perfect this movie before you put it out. Right. That's one of those movies. Okay. I don't knock the director. And it's black. I don't knock the thought of the movie and all that stuff. But it could have been more detailed to where, you know, each scene had a little more... Take notes from people like Spike Lee and all the other movie directors of how the movie just flows together and everything comes on. I mean, yes, granted, in some movies you do get lost, I mean, but by the end Spike of the Lee movie, too, but, you know. but by the end of the movie, everything comes together and you're like, oh, okay, and like I the, get it. And like the ending is just like the ooh. ending is stupid. Like the ending. For Get Out, it's retarded. <laughs> like there was, and they, there was two versions of the ending, and they chose a different version. And I'm just like, well, what happens after that? Like, do they go? See, that to Get the Out house? is one of those like, movies where it's going. If they continue to do it, it has to be a sequel. Because there's no, you're not gonna get I it. A, way. I don't need a sequel to Get Out. <laughs> I don't need one, but I don't it, need another. One. I feel like it's gonna be one of those movies where it's a sequel. To I'm just going to call it something. Alright, guys. Well, we'll be back after Girls Trip to give you our thoughts on Girls Trip. Yes. We will see you later. Bye. Alexa, add anniversary to my calendar. One year from today. Okay. I'll add that to your calendar. Yeah, y'all see the setup. We got a table. We got... Alexa, play swing music. Cheers, my clan. Got my notch. I got some popcorn. Say bye, baby. Bye. Hey, y'all. We're back. 
Okay, so we just saw Girls Trip. Babe, how do you feel about Girls Trip? That one was hilarious. Yes. I recommend a thousand and billion percent. <laughs> that movie, I'm getting it on DVD when it comes out. So. Yes, that movie was freaking hilarious. I haven't laughed so hard in a comedy so long. It was hilarious. your friends every day you have your once your life starts you know in college you have your small group of friends and then after that you know y'all keep in touch or whatever but then y'all have lives y'all become adults right. y'all become parents get married you have jobs full-time jobs that you can't really Kids. get away from so it's like you know <laughs> and this movie spoke about all of that all wrapped in one exact comedy it was a really, really great movie. It was, it's worth the money. It's worth the time to go see it. I mean, if you wait till it's on a fire stick, whatever. But I really think... And the theater... If you, if you didn't catch inside of the theater that we were just at... <laughs> recline to seats. Like, literally, you can just lay back like you on a couch. Chilling. With yeah. a TV tray. Like... And it's it's not like it's a regal it's a regal movie theater. It's not just like oh we're going to like the two dollar movie theater and the you basic just got seats that are on the seats and the cup holder. No, like these seats legitimately legitly reclined and it all the way reclines or it doesn't recline. So be you. your preference. As, like I told you before, that was the second time we've been in a whole, uh, movie theater like that. Hotel, hotel. I don't know why I'm saying that's the second time we've been in a movie theater where we've actually had reclining chairs. We didn't really use the reclining chairs when the Chris Brown movie came out. What you talking about? I reclined mine. You oh, she did. did. I really didn't. Cause you just like, I was already like pause because of the whole sorry. But this time I actually you know, like, reclined, used the recliner, and chill, watch the movie, whatever. Had my nacho, she had popcorn. We had a sprite, whatever. But, and the thing about it is, a lot of people, when they go to the movies, they don't want to spend an arm and a leg. But, when you go to the movies, especially if you're that person that doesn't like to go places because you feel like it's not up to par or whatever the situation is, you're going to have to spend that extra dollar to experience the things you experience. 
because they're trying to slowly change the way we watch movies now to making it a more comfortable situation where you feel like you're at home watching a movie until the lights come back on. I recommend that yeah. theater. But Regal is in High Point, North Carolina. Yes. Um, I'm pretty sure the Regal's all over like that too. But, well, we don't know about that. But the one here in High Point is definitely like that. And then the one in Charlotte. I was shocked. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm the one in Charlotte. But yes. I was really, I was like, okay, that's cool. Sign seating. Yeah, Reserve seating. Who's the sign seating in the way? And then you go in, they say recline seats. And I'm thinking like, you know, the, the back of the seat, you just push back and recline. No, the whole seat. Go all the way. Be up. Like, I was just like, this, this is high. I, re I recommend Girls Trip to everybody. That was a great, great movie. Great, great you and your girls want to see And movie? it's not short. Mm -hmm. Like, it's two hours two hours and change long. So they had, you know, they had a lot of, uh, basically a lot to do, a lot to say mm -hmm. that they wanted to put in the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not long like the Titanic. That joint was three hours. But. And it ain't, it's not long to so where you get you're bored you're tired yeah like it's always something happening in every scene which is hard to do when you're making a movie because especially if you don't have a good like idea of what movie you're trying to make then having something to happen every scene so the person watching the movie isn't bored it's hard to do so and that theater was packed so you know everybody came out every everybody, race right everybody, everybody came, out. came out to see this film and it was really really good they running all kinds of red lights. They don't even care. I'm sorry. I'm just looking like people just running red lights. They don't even care. It's really hot out here, y'all. I mean, it's, it's hot. It's scorching. <laughs> now, now the car says it's 102 degrees. I said that at one o'clock. <laughs> it's really hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. Really hot. But yes. I left my wallet at home, so now we gotta go back home. So I can get my wallet so we can get some food. And, um, yeah, we'll probably chill out the rest of the day because I'm not trying to be in this heat. <laughs> not it's at a all. beautiful Saturday, but I am really not trying to be in this heat. Not at all. Um, yeah. Our dog's sick right now, so. Oh, yeah. Taking her for a walk is like a negative. I mean, she'll probably get heat exhaust or something. Right. So. I should have went that way. Oh, well. But. Like we said, Girl's Trip is highly, highly, highly recommended. Four thumbs up from her hands and mine. Yeah, you can't see my other hand, but you know, thumbs up. And yeah, so comment below when you see it or, you know, Would you let us know how you felt about it because we really want to know. And, you know, if you like us doing stuff like this where we go out or we watch TVs and movies, TV shows and movies, give reviews on how we felt about it you know like subscribe let us oh, know oh, oh and and you know i got to see my previews now like y'all said at the beginning i like my preview and so they, why did they show the taraji p henson preview for her movie yes. we got excited because you know we was just talking about Let's seeing the full length preview and they showed the full length preview and yeah yes. That look like that's so see. Yeah, that look like that's about so a great see. movie. And then the movie that is gonna be like the female James Bond 007 movie. That movie is a really good movie too. It's gonna be an action movie, and I feel like that's gonna be a great movie too. Just because it's like another James Bond movie, except for it's not James Bond playing as a female, so you get to see the different side of it, and you don't have to just see him and what he does. So. Those are the two movies we're waiting to see. I forgot what the title is. They show Kidnap and they show the James Bond movie. And then they show Kidnap's preview that comes out in August. But we already said And I'm it's like on Fire Stick. It's already on Fire Stick, so <laughs> they don't need it for it to come out of theaters. It's pointless. But not everybody got a Fire Stick. Although now Fire Stick is popping. Because we went to Best Buy yesterday and about uh, five, ten people were buying a Fire Stick. We were buying a Fire Stick. So yeah. I think Fire Stick is really start to be popping because you know you don't can't afford movies all the time so right. Right. I mean sometimes we work so much this is like the first time really we both well she works on weekends usually 
So yeah, I'm always at work. it's really the first time we both get to enjoy a Saturday together yeah. without her going to work. Like it's four o'clock. She would I'll be just getting off. Either getting off or getting off at five. Yeah, I'll be just so off. it's like this is the first time we spend the day from morning to night together in a while. So it yeah. was good to get out of the house. But yes, it was. It was a great. It's been a great day so far. It's almost over, but it's not over because after we go home, get her wallet, probably go somewhere, probably get something to eat, maybe get some dessert after that. I have a taste for sweet frog, so you may go to sweet frog. But now that's gonna be an hour all day. <laughs> and then we're gonna edit this vlog and post it, and I'm gonna do another vlog and post it, and then we're gonna post. We're gonna attempt to post our um, pride vlog from 2015. And then if we have enough footage from homecoming. Yes, I know. That, she said 2015. That's, yeah. That's real. Well, it's really 2016, not 2015. Oh, yeah. Well, 16. Um, 16. From last year. Yeah, last year's um, pride. Because we were supposed to post it. Because we have a lot of pictures. We have some video. Yeah. But I just, just never got around to it. And then, it's been a lot going on, y'all. Like, um, so like now. Happens. So now we're trying to catch up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we catch hope up. we can catch up. Just post. We're just going to update our, our vlog channel. So yes. whether it's old last year, you know, beginning of this year, whatever it is, we'll just post it all up. So basically we can get rid of everything, save it, you know. Apps. Like we can delete like pictures on our phones and stuff because right. it'll already be online so we know where to find it. We're not missing out on any of our pictures that we've taken. So. She said it all. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my sign. Y'all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so, like we said, go watch Girls Trip. Watch Kidnap when it comes out in August. If you do not have the fire stick, if you have the fire stick, we encourage you to go watch it now. Um. Watch out for the Tarashi P. Henson movie, although that movie doesn't come out until January. Be on the lookout for like the trailers, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than one trailer. And the movie that I'm waiting to see is Best Man's Best Man Wedding that it was supposed to do like 20 years ago. Y'all, she been talking about this movie. She been talking about this movie since like, Best Man Holiday went off. Right. Like, come on now. Girl, I thought that was whatever. a big roach crawling. Look at that. It looked like a roach crawling across that floor. You see it, girl? It's a leaf though. <laughs> Look at, but look at it yes. going, look at it going, look at that move. I'm really looking forward to seeing that movie. They have me, it's a highly anticipated film right now. So if it comes out and it's not what I want it to be or where it should be, I'm gonna let all y'all know. All y'all, everybody, the whole world, even the directors, okay, every actor in a movie, don't know. This was not what I wanted it to be. Okay. But yeah, you'll be okay. So. It's not the end of the world. No, it's Alright you guys, so remember like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below, you know, if you see Girl Ship, if you have seen it and you like it or what you thought of it. Because you know, that movie, just because it's our movie, might not be a movie for everybody, which is fine. Everybody has one of me. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, comment below. If you've watched Kidnapped or if you watch Girl's Trip and like this video if you like us to do more reviews on movies and TV shows that come out. Because we do. Alright, see you guys later. So, bye y'all.